there is yet another seedy organization that lies within the peaceful natural environs of the Sierra Nevada foothills. In our last video, we took a dive into the corruption and criminal conspiracy surrounding Midnight Productions. But just a few hundred miles north, another crime against the homeless, with particular emphasis on drug and alcohol addiction, is going unnoticed. And if not for one person exposing it, who literally risked their job because of it, it would not continue to do so. But it is because of this person's bravery, the DHS and county conspiracy to vilify her, and the corruption and sheer disdain they have towards the homeless and the people they are supposed to be helping is why we're here tonight. I should also let it be known that this person is very close to me, and so this video and the contents within are personal because that person is my very own mother. They fucked with the wrong person. They fucked with the wrong family. And in doing so, they fucked with the Red Pagan. The fully grown bear cub is now awakened. She's angry. And she's out for blood. This is Mama Red Pagan's story. Our story begins in the quiet foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. The lush greenery of endless pines and sequoia trees extend for hundreds of miles. Located just an hour away from Sacramento, the pristine, snow-capped ridges of Lake Tahoe, and less than two hours from Reno, Nevada, life in this small neck of the woods is largely mundane. But sometimes this quiet hodunk town isn't without its fair share of problems, and certainly not without corruption. Placer County, California is often considered the gold country, as most of the pioneers to the area, known as 49ers, often made their fortunes or busts here. This is where the California gold rush largely took place. As you can imagine, that deadly sin called greed never has truly gone away. The gold dried up, and instead the area largely sustains itself off its pioneering history and tourism, logging, and as a stopover on the way to Lake Tahoe and Reno. It is also largely made up of older retirees or young millennial and Gen Z remote workers looking to get away from the bustling city life of Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area. With that, of course, come some city-related problems. Drugs, largely methamphetamine, as well as alcoholism, are no stranger to small-town life. And when faced with people with connections to bigger cities, that problem is only exacerbated. With that comes stronger enforcement by even more conservative and fascistic law enforcement and county officials. Despite the main focus of rehabilitation centers to treat and often offer counseling to addicts, often in these conservative areas, the people that run them often simply exploit these people's weaknesses as a way to keep the cycle of people coming and going and to make money off of them. 
even though they claim to be nonprofit. Some of these organizations, such as the Granite Wellness Center, find themselves out of compliance due to not meeting the standards that are set by the state of California. This leads to them having to find other means of public support in order to keep their doors open and those that speak out against their questionable ethics are often subject to threats, harassment, legal ramifications, and termination of employees. My mom, who we will refer as simply Mama Red Pagan, worked here from 2019 to 2023. A former addict herself, my mom knows all too well the struggles that come with that life. And her form of blunt yet warm sense of compassion, empathy, and kindness is what not only makes her a good counselor, but what counseling is supposed to be all about. It is about going above and beyond to help people, regardless of their situation. In June 2023, Mama Red Pagan was trying to help a woman, let's call her Alex, an ex-client who is homeless living in a tent. A male assailant tried to come in and essay her, but she was able to fight him off. Mama Red Pagan, being the kind-hearted person that she is, demanded that something be done. The man was kicked out of the homeless encampment, but based on the information provided, nothing more was actually done about it, or who this strange man even was. Instead, Alex was moved to a drug program in San Luis Obispo County, some 340 miles south. Following this incident, a social worker from the Department of Human Services got involved and a complaint was made against Mama Red Pagan, who was placed on paid administrative leave, pending an investigation. An investigation that lasted a total of less than a week. Of course. The reason for the investigation? My mother was accused of providing drugs and or alcohol to a former and current or current client, which is completely false. Mama Red Pagan was terminated on June 28th, 2023. Under California law, they did not have to provide a reason for her termination, but that is typical of most states and employers unless you are part of a union, which my mother was not. Mama Red Pagan is not the only one. There's been numerous people who have felt unhappy working at this facility and have also had some grievances. Numerous clients have also made complaints, but are rarely listened to or taken seriously because of their past history of addiction. As I stated previously, Granite Wellness Center has a habit of trying to bury their dirty laundry, particularly their handling of situations and treatment of employees and clients alike, as well as their ethics violations. And they're often too close collusion with corrupt and fascist county and law enforcement officials makes them all the more suspect as if they are trying to cover something up. One supervisor at the Grass Valley facility transferred to another facility nearby, but was not without her fair share of ethics violations, though. She and Mama Red Pagan were said to have clashed because of these differences. However, that supervisor was allowed to stay, while Mama Red Pagan was terminated. I reached out to Mama Red Pagan, who could confirm that she was fired 
based on these false accusations. Never once did they reach out to my mother and ask for her side of the story, or what she was even being accused of directly, or why she was terminated. I've also reached out to numerous people in the local community who have said that my mom is a compassionate person, including former co-workers who said she's the last person that they would ever suspect of supplying drugs and alcohol to anyone. One former co-worker who still is employed there still sees my mom even though they are often discouraged from talking to former clients or employees leading many to believe that there is definitely a cover-up to silence the truth of some wrongdoing by Granite Wellness Centers and County officials. What we potentially have here, then, is a potential conspiracy by this organization and Placer County to slowly discourage and criminalize humanitarianism towards the downtrodden, the people that this capitalist society has thrown under the bus and forgotten about, like yesterday's trash. For those good Samaritans who actually do do the right thing and try to reach out and help those in need, whether it be giving them something to eat, a place to sleep, to aid them during and after a traumatic event, or just simply being a friend or an ear to help keep them out of trouble or from hitting a pipe or the needle are truly one of the last beacons of hope of this crumbling society. A society who crusades against immorality while forgetting what the context of being a morally good person actually is. While I'm not a Christian, I'm often reminded in these situations of what these holier-than-thou people say most. What would Jesus do? Well, if you're actually a, a true Christian yourself, then you would be more like Mama Red Pagan, who actually feeds the homeless, loves thy neighbor, and doesn't covet material things or wealth, and just in general tries to be a good person. Instead, the people running Granite Wellness Centers and Placer County choose to demonize, devalue, and punish people who show a sense of humanity, compassion, or empathy towards others. The very thing counselors are supposed to do, or at least used to do. Therefore, the supervisors, management, executives, and administrators of Granite and the Placer County officials are truly some of the most corrupt and vile people as their sadism and cruelty falls just short of that of Midnight Productions. These individuals might want to check their own privilege and reevaluate themselves because they are neither moral nor good people. They devalue the homeless and treat them as subhuman. They care nothing of their fellow man and only for themselves. And they covet material wealth rather than humanity. And those that call themselves Christians are fooling themselves because they are certainly not doing the Lord's work. But hey, I guess there's no hate like Christian love. Or maybe for those running Granite Wellness and Placer County, it's the other way around. I'm Red Pig and Nicole, and this has been Red Pig and Corner. I love you all, and good night. Until next time.